All right, guys, it's Mr. Ricky Bill, and I just wanted to do a quick uh, review of this um, new game. It's in the beta phase right now. It just started open beta yesterday, and I am having a blast with this game. And I wanted to do a quick review. It's called The Secret World, and um, there's actually two clients uh, right now. The one is an open beta, one is a closed beta. This is the um, this is the open beta. There is no NDA in effect, so this is the open beta. Um, it's kind of limited in, in what there's going on here, but the game's a whole lot of fun. And I just want to do a really quick review and show a little bit of the gameplay and uh, maybe explain a few things that I see uh, a lot of people uh, complaining about and stuff on the um, in game chat. Um, uh, this game has no levels. There's sure absolutely see someone... no levels in this game. Um, everything is about getting skill points and ability points, and then spending those points in a ability wheel, and uh, skills being spent for different weapons. There's um, um, a lot of synergy going on between the uh, different weapons, uh, the different uh, what they call talismans that you can equip. Um, there is um, uh, the gear in this game. There, the clothing in this game are just vanity only. The clothing don't carry any kind of stats. There are talismans that you wear that carry stats. And um, clothing is wear anything because of there's no stats with the clothing. Um, so, uh, let me just show you here what we have uh, real quick. This is the ability wheel. And as you can see right here, I've got 16 abilities out of 525. There's actually even more than that, some of these other things. But So there's over 500 abilities here. And you can actually learn all of them. Like I said, there is no level. You, you acquire ability points and you put them in this ability wheel. You start from the inside and work your way out. Um, as you can see, there's like uh, three different classes. You have a ranged, a melee, and a magic. Um, and right now, I am concentrating on um, one of the magic classes, elementalism, and one of the ranged classes, shotgun. You can carry two weapons with you at once. So um, I've got the shotgun and I've got the uh, elemental weapon with me. So um, and uh, I can do either one. Now, um, pretty much every class can be DPS, and every class can also um, pretty much do some healing and some tanking and crowd control. Um, the cool thing about this is you can change these abilities on the fly real quick. You can go from a DPS person to a uh, tank person to a healer to a, um, you know, uh, whatever, a crowd control type of person. Uh, you can do it real quick on the fly. Um, there's actually only, um, um, believe it or not, there's... Uh, there's actually only uh, my inventory screen. There's actually only seven uh, hot keyed uh, ability bars. There'll never be more than seven. That's all you get is seven, only seven. And so I see a lot of complaining in the chat. Oh my God, I can't believe we got over 500 abilities and only seven bars. Well, what you don't understand is that. There, yes, there's only seven active ability bars, and then you also have these seven passive bars. These bars don't do anything. They're static. You can click on them. They're not doing anything. These are just static, passive abilities. And like I said before, there's a synergy that exists between the passive abilities and the active abilities. So there's a, there's a ton of passive and active abilities. So anyway. Um, when that that big wheel some of them are active abilities and some of them are passive abilities and what you're trying to do is make a build that goes together good with active and passive abilities but um back to uh, people complaining about there's only seven ability uh, seven abilities 
that you can use at a time, seven active abilities. I mean, most of us are used to MMOs with, you know, I don't know, 30 or 40 different <laughs> abilities at once that we can uh, hotkey. Not in this game. This game does a little differently. Yes, there's only seven active abilities, but what you can do is you create these builds that you can quickly, on the fly, swap out these builds. So let me just show you how that works real quick here. Uh, we're going to the character screen, and you'll see something here in this character screen. You've got st statistics and gear management, uh, faction rank, or whatever dressing room. You go into gear management, and what you can do is you can make uh, these different um, these different um, loadouts. Um, this is one I have made right here. It's called the shoddy, called the shoddy and elemental DPS load. And it's basically the, what I've have right now. It will it will give me um, it will immediately give me the gear, these talisman, these things that I'm wearing, these earrings and necklaces and things. It will immediately give me this gear and the, these weapons and these abilities and these passive abilities. All of this just by clicking this and uh, loading it. Boom. But it, there's no reason to do that now because this is everything that I've got. The game just came out, uh, the open beta just started yesterday, so I don't have a whole lot of different gear. But you can see um, all these different spaces. Um, eventually, you'll have a lot of gear, a lot of different things, and you'll be able to quickly just um, load up these different uh, builds. So you could quickly go from a DPS person to a tank person to a healer. Uh, real fast, man, on the fly, boom, boom. Um, all of this stuff will change, and you'll be um, whatever you want to be. Uh, you could be, I mean, you could have different builds. You could have a ranged DPS build, and then a uh, AOE DPS build, or a uh, you know any number of things um, can be quickly changed, man, on the fly. So that is uh, gives you unlimited amount of possibilities here. So. All of the complaining that's going on in chat about only having uh, seven active hot keys, hot bar on the hot bar, um, they just don't, you just don't understand. This um, you can quickly switch out between a lot of different builds. Okay, so that's one thing I wanted to show real quick. And then the other thing is uh, what I got floating around here. This is a, this is a bag that you can make, and you, so you can put. I don't know that there's any way to, uh, you know, program these things for um, some sort of hotkey. I haven't figured that out yet. I haven't, I haven't found any way to do it. Um, but how you do that is uh, you just um, you go into your inventory screen, which um, is this, and then you can actually uh, make a new bag. Okay, and you can put things in that bag. Um, I don't know, whatever you've got that you might want to put into that bag. Uh, I don't, all my potions and things are already in this bag, so. Oh, let's say I want to put some metal in there for my crafting. There's metal. This game's got a really cool crafting system, too. But anyway, uh, let's just say I want to, for whatever reason, I'm putting metal into this bag, then it would lock it. Okay, then. Um, take my inventory screen off and then this is here I can put it wherever I want to put it uh, you know so, um, it's some more abilities that I could have but of course I don't I don't need this right now I mean I could put them in here I've got enough uh, you know room in here whoops no don't want to delete it but um see that's uh, there's uh, there's uh, a lot of different things you can do with the uh, with uh, different uh, abilities, different uh, UI functions. Okay, so uh, I don't need this here anywhere. It's cluttering up the screen, so I would go back to my inventory screen, right? And I can just um, unlock this, okay? And I can trash it. When I trash it, all of these things are just going to go back into my inventory. They're not actually going to get trashed like this. Boom. Okay, do you really want to delete the bag name, new bag? Yeah. And all these things just pop back into my inventory. They don't disappear. But um, I've already got one here with my little different potions and things in it that I'm using uh, at this time. So um, 
let's just, um, that's kind of a quick overview of um, how some of the things work here. And uh, let's just go quickly back into that uh, ability wheel where I'm building this stuff. As you can see, I've, I've got a few things in the shotgun class, and I've got a bunch more things in the element, the elementalism class. See, I've already got all of the things in these two classes right here with the ability points I've spent. But in the in this open beta, the next cluster is locked, so we can't get to these uh, higher levels things. And uh, you might be asking, what are all these red uh, circles that pointing to, to different abilities? If you look, this these circles are actually pointing to different abilities within um, each one of these classes. You might be wondering, well, what, what is that? Why is that pointing to different abilities? For instance, uh, this one is pointing to gun smoke in this particular class. And what that is, is I have set up a deck. And what that is, is showing me the deck abilities. This is sort of a preset deck. So I turn that deck on and off, and that's showing me some abilities. If you go into this deck screen, uh, it just kind of helps you out by giving you some um, preset um, weapon combinations and passive and active combinations. And so this one that I've got here that I'm working towards is the Magus build, which is using elemental on a shotgun. And um, if you look here, there's a whole bunch of different builds in here. These predetermined builds, you don't have to follow any of those builds. But the game is so new and you're still trying to figure everything out and how everything works together. I'm just trying to build towards this uh, one of these builds. They call that a deck. And so I'm just sort of building, it's basically a build of different uh, two different things. So that's all that is. And um, while I'm here, I wanted to show real quickly. These are these are your ability points, and then we talked about skill points. Skill points are up here. Here are skill points. Once again, we see the three classes: the melee, the range, and the magic. And then we see the weapons in each class. And then within each one of those are skill points, but not just one line of skill points. If we click in here. There's actually two lines of skill points within each weapon class. Uh, this one, and this one happens to be damage and support. So uh, I'm sort of building a DPS person, so I'm putting my skill points into this damage roll. And you need these skill points in order to equip more powerful weapons and things of that nature. So I'm putting weapons along this line right now in the shotgun class and then the elemental class click on that and I'm also uh, going along the damage line here and then you also have the support line but I'm concentrating right now just on DPS um, for the time being so those are the three classes the melee the range and the magic and then down here we have talismans and those are those things that you saw earlier that I'm wearing different things that I am wearing and the same deal here you can buy put skill points and it allows you to acquire more and wear more uh, of these different talismans that you collect throughout the game. So um, that's a deal. You can see I've got a couple points already in these uh, major and minor talismans. I don't have any of them head talisman yet simply because I haven't come across a powerful one yet. I'm holding back on my skill points. I have seven here that I have not spent. And um, I should go ahead and spend them, but. Um, I'm just holding on to them for the time being. Okay, so that's the skill points, and then there's this ability wheel. So ability points and skill points, what it's all about, right? Um, we can uh, go ahead and get out of the screen. I'm going to go over here, maybe kill some zombies real fast. I happen to be in a town right now and fest some zombies. And um, we can always uh, set up a car alarm, maybe get some to come out and play with us. What do you think? No? Maybe not. Sometimes we can just set a car alarm off. Uh, some of these cars, like this one right here. And here they come. And you can see I'm using some elemental attacks right now. Boom, 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 elemental. You guys are hmm, running away from it. And, uh, you know, quickly. 
can switch back and I mean you can um, pick up some of this stuff here you can use all of these if you look at my ability bars right now uh, these blue things are elemental attacks and then this red one happens to be one of the shotgun attacks and it happens seamlessly I mean you, just, you can go from doing a elemental to bam shotgun you know uh, you do it all at the same time. Um, so that's kind of how that works. Uh, with the two weapons I have, uh, I have going on here, and you'll notice that these guys die so fast. It's not a good uh, place to be because as I, as as you hit these people, you're actually putting debuffs or things on them that will. Um, that work you know, towards your um, attacks that you're doing. So, what, uh, it's a little confusing, but um, as you put uh, debuffs on them, then you want to use specific attacks to take advantage of that. For instance, I put this volatile current on him. Ah, these guys are dying too fast show you that um, as you can see over here I'm stacking up um, these things right here you know what they're called but as I stack these up it gives me the ability to use some of these other abilities so in other words I gotta have a full stack of five in order to use this ability right here I got tooltips turned off I should have turned them uh, should turn them back on for this video but um, I don't know, this is just a quick video, uh, just to show you, kind of give you a little heads up on some of the gameplay. I'm having a real, I'm having a blast playing this game. Um, I love the graphics. Uh, like I said, uh, this is pretty much medium graphics, but uh, graphics are really nice. I love the gameplay. Uh, I love running the missions. Um, having a lot of fun with it. So, <clears throat> once I get more depth into the game, uh, maybe I'll make another video. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and post them, and I will try to answer them all. Uh, talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it's Mr. Ricky Bill, and I just wanted to quickly show you what the game looks like in surround NVIDIA. 2D surround mode, the triple monitor setup. That's actually how I've been playing the game. Um, it works really well. There's um, a couple of problems with the uh, with the UI when in surround mode, but um, it um, shouldn't take too long to straighten out. I mean, this is just the second day of open beta, so I um, just want to show you guys a quick little look at um, how I've actually been playing the game. All right. If you have any questions, uh, I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thanks.